Hello everyone, uh, we are already live from Krakow in Poland, second round of the Mood Masters uh, competition. International event managed to gather a lot of competitors, 730 people came over to compete in this event. My name is Grzegorz Karolak and together with Kuba Jurek we will spend with you the next two hours and hopefully we will witness a great competition. The competition will take part in the usual IFSC format of the final bouldering. Uh, four boulders, four minutes in between. You can see Piotr Bunch uh, and also uh, Jakub Books commenting live on the venue. Mood bouldering gym, one of the biggest bouldering gyms in Poland. We have a presentation of finalists already among women, Bianca Janecka from Poland, first finalist. Maja Oleksy, also from Poland. Alex Totkova from Bulgaria. Next one to come out is Marketa Janosova from Czech Republic. And we should see Barbara Wojcik from Poland. From Kielce. And we welcome Katja Debevec from Slovenia. She was the only woman to top out all the semi-final boulders. And all the quality boulders as well. The entire competition uh, started already on a Thursday. Three days of qualifications, then there was a semi-final. And now we have top six competitors from in men's category. From Israel, Yotam Ben Royven. Three tops in the semi finals. Next one, Kuba Jodłowski from Poland, the only Pole in the final. So I'm sure the, the crowd will be behind him today. From Bulgaria, Nikolai Rusev. From UK, Aiden Dune. From Wrocław in Poland, Slava Krasnoperov. And the winner of the last year's event, he came to defend the title, Edward Gruzitis from Latvia. So now we will have the usual observation time, two minutes for each boulder. Time starts right now. So you can see the climbers already went to see the boulder number one for men and women. I'll use this time to uh, tell you a little bit more about the, the venue and the event. Like I said before, the, that's the second edition of Mood, Mood uh, Masters event. We are broadcasting live from Krakow in Poland, in the South Poland. Now it, I think it, it's the biggest bouldering event uh, throughout the entire year. So the expectations are always big. Uh, we want as many of the international people to come over uh, as possible. Last year event was a success. Uh, a lot of people uh, ended up in Krakow competing and this year uh, is, is similar. We get a lot of feedback that the bowlers were interesting in the qualities throughout all the rounds and semis as well. We are hoping for, for a great 
final as well. That's the boulder number one on men's. Red holds. Kuba Jurek uh, commenting with me. He's one of the root setters, so I'm sure he will uh, give us some tips uh, or I, I might be able to give a little bit of a in insight. It's always good to yes. have someone next to me who's can shed some light on, on what was the idea, what was the brainstorming behind each of the boulders. I'll just make them hard this year. I think this, this year we have a um, super strong final and it's, it's going to be really... Uh, we, we knew that w this was going to be pretty tough to separate um, the strongest of the strongest. So we went for a bit more um, tricky, tricky low percentage um, style of climbing. Like if you watched the semi-final rounds, we had two new school blocks and two old school blocks. And the old school blocks were kind of easy to read and the strong dudes just, you know, cruised through them. So we're hoping um, the final round will just require a little bit more of um, commitment from them. But, you know, it's a gamble. Like, you never know until you see it's the always, competitors. It's always a gamble. Yeah. You can have an idea, you can have some intentions, but then uh, they create the show, the climbers yes. create the show, yes. and it's, everything is up to them. But I think they're in good shape. Oh, they they, they uh, yeah. definitely displayed some skills they last all, night. <laughs> they're all in good shape. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the challenge, to set something. So if, if it goes wrong, you can blame the setting team. You can always, sure. you can always definitely not the athletes this time. <laughs> it's really a hard job to root set at this level. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's educated guessing, I'd, I, I'd say. It's more educated guessing than, you know, knowing anything for certain. We will know in a, in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very shortly we'll get the answer to that. <laughs> The, the, wall, uh, the wall was built uh, by T-Wall company. I'll tell a few, uh, I'll mention the, the sponsors of the event. Uh, they are a crucial part of a competition like that. Without their support and help, it would be way harder to organize uh, such a big event. So among the sponsors, we got Black Diamond, T-Wall, uh, we got the uh, brewery, brewery Trecompli, also Tricamp, uh, company On Lemon, Agrest, Hastan, Heartbeat, Mano, uh, Varapo, uh, Rostayans, uh, that's the coffee company, and also the biggest uh, climbing web portal in Poland, Spinanie.pl. The broadcast, uh, we are going live on the, on the YouTube channel, uh, also in, on Spinania PL, also on Bouldering TV. There's a live broadcast on uh, Facebook uh, mood uh, page as well. So there's quite a few ways to, to, to watch for all of you, whatever you prefer. But it's easy, something is on YouTube or, or Facebook as well. Athletes are moving on to boulders number three. We can see the clock uh, on the top part yeah. of the wall. Less than two minutes. Uh, they are watching boulder number two now. Probably for for the boys, uh, number three is the most uh, physical okay. one. Um, yeah, a new school intro into pure physical... Um, uh, shoulder lock off strength and holding onto bad holds. Okay. And for women, a little bit more um, yeah, low percentage and just cons consortium. Getting into strange positions and bad holds. You can see how, how yeah. the girls are consulting with each other. Possible betas for tackling boulders. Oh. Among the root setters, uh, the chief root setter for this competition is Alexander Romanovsky, uh, the IF, IFSC root setter. <coughs> but he wouldn't be able to do everything alone. There's a big team, there's uh, nine root setters that were involved in this competition. Next to him was also Piotr Suder, Kuba Jurek, uh, who's sitting next to me, also Krzysztof Szalacha, Tadeusz Sługocki, Krzyś Kacprzyk, Wojtek Wątroba, Piotr Schab i Piotr Smaroń. Piotr Schab uh, is one of the uh, owners of the gym as well, also involved uh, to a big extent in, in the setting, in the testing. He's the competitor himself, so he can offer a lot of input in a competition like that. Uh, and also Piotr Smaron, who's the uh, manager of the Mood Bouldering <coughs> Gym. He's also a root setter, 
so he can always uh, share his experience as well. Apart from the, all the organizational issues, uh, also helping with the resetting. In total, in the call list, there were 45 bowlers, and the number of competitors was around seven, 730. And they came from 18 different countries. So we have a really international, multinational vibe to the comp. The competitors are watching boulder number four now. And there will be a short break after that. And when the first pair of athletes will be ready, we will see them on boulder number one. And there will be four minutes for each boulder. The usual IFSC final formula. One minute left. One minute left. Yeah, for men's block number four, I think we have the... Um this was probably the greatest gamble the setting team took because um, the first sequence on on the problem, which is uh, run along the volumes to the left, requires a lot of uh, speed, precision, coordination, um, and it, it's really hard to make a right make the right decision uh, when assessing the level of the problem, because you know, like as you work on on the block in the setting team, um, oftentimes you learn a little part, like a part of the process and then you introduce a change but the uh, the skills you've learned working the uh, initial version that you discarded are contributing to your understanding of the movement on the problem and sometimes it's, it's really hard to draw that line what did we manage to learn and then we made it harder or made it easier but having already having some knowledge of the movement and since we Now we can see the uh, start list of the women's final. The first one to come out will be Bianca Janecka from Poland. And in a moment we should see the men's final start list as well. The, the scores will be updated live and hopefully the operators will be uh, showing us the scores in between the boulders. So we can track who's in the lead, who um, uh, has to improve the score throughout the comp. It's always it's always nice to to have the live score. It's not always possible, but uh, luckily we, we we have a way. And a little correction: we actually have uh, two guys representing Poland yeah, in the finals. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, Slava Krasnoperov is representing Poland. Cool. I'll introduce them. The main, the main judge of the competition is Adrian Chmiała and Paweł Kędziora. They will be making sure that everything is uh, done in a proper way uh, when it comes to the judging of the competition. Last moment, Bianca is already in front of boulder number one. Yeah, change of lights. Blue light is fading. And I think we're about to begin. Right, setting team was placing bets that we're not really... We're not expecting any flash sends of uh, M1. Did you do any last-minute tw tweaks to the boulders? Did you uh, make any changes? Yeah, we, we actually changed um, quite a lot of the problems. Uh, yeah, some were not reset entirely, but uh, yeah, major changes were made. Uh, because we had so much time, we came in today in the morning and had six hours to make sure they are as good as... And the time starts. Uh, Jotam van Rooyen yeah. from Bianca. Israel and Bianca Netzka from Poland on the left. Jotam is on the right. Four minutes flat. If times run out, if time runs out, and you're on the problem, you're out. Yep, yep that's what we were expecting. <laughs> no easy flash sense. 
Jotam uh, was here last year as well. He he didn't make the finals, uh, but it's his second time in Poland. Giving giving the brushes a little, yeah, request. Oh, it's it's difficult to to jump onto the first boulder and uh, um, need to get into the zone of, of yeah, the so final. Yeah, so there is a um, trick behind the women's starting position. You have to bridge hard with your feet. The volumes are quite slopey and you really have to find that balance -y, that point of balance. Um, and then it kind of goes. It's not easy, but it goes. For, for boys, it's um, r super tricky to get your both hands on the dual texture red hold because the left left hand side of the hold has friction and the right hand side has no friction at all and um, it's a very a very compressed starting position your feet are high up and the holds are positive they're deep two finger pockets but they're kind of down low and as you can see um the autumn did a good yeah, job he's he's learning to hold. he's definitely going to learn that um, position it's just really hard to nail it the first time you try it. And then... Um, From a root setting point of view, it's good. It's, it makes the... Has to render, has to bring some results. It has exactly. to, yeah. I always say that the, the biggest nightmare of a root setter is basically the same results on a boulder. Yeah, by all means. But with this risky style, I think... Um, as long as the blocks get topped, and I think they will, um, we're just gonna get like different di different number of and tries. They, there you go. There we go. And then he's um, he's got to commit now. That's a sh powerful shoulder move. Cool. This is very close now for yeah. him. Yeah, 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 it yeah. Looks yeah. Like, it looks very good for him. Awesome. There we go. We have a first okay, call. First send. Cool. And this actually, this wasn't um, the way we did it. Oh, he, he jumped into this. We, um, yeah, he went into a shoulder press, staying with the right hand pressing. And the way we did it was like an extra step. Oh, um, I, I can see that. Like yeah, jump into very jump high into the undercling, and then you land with your right foot on, on the, the big. big one. Yeah, on the zone. Yeah, zone hold is where your right foot goes. So I think it's kind of similar difficulty. I like when the, the boulder offers you different ways of... Uh, yeah, being yeah, definitely. Cool. Unless it's a very specific movement and, and you're like super dedicated. You want, um, to, you want to isolate this one way of yes, climbing it. Like maybe it's, it's a groundbreaking type of movement and you know, you're obsessed with exec executing this one style of movement. Uh, or sometimes the holds may be there is so, so small that they don't really give you any, any other way. I mean, there has to be space for this sort of exploration within the setting, uh, the world of root, competition route setting, because if we, for every single comp, we kind of set the same um, repertoire of movement, then how can we, you know, make any progression? Yeah. Um, Bianca has seven seconds. I don't think it's a good yeah, idea. Not really. It's not going to be enough time. So there we go. Uh, climbers will now head to the isolation zone. And we, we can already see Kuba Jodłowski and Maja uh, Oleksy, both from Poland. Kuba did a tremendous job yesterday in the semis. Uh, he managed to top out all the boulders, but the amount of attempts he did was by far the biggest, the highest number. So he, he really pushed hard in order to get into this final. Maya Alexis already established is, the starting position. Very young, oh. still very young, but already experienced. Yeah, she's been climbing since she was a kid. Uh, and competing as well, right? At a yes, from a professional very, level. From a very early age. She's mm -hmm. only 17 years old. And uh, just to compare, Kuba is 36. So you can see how, oh, the difference that. 20, no, that's 19 years, almost 20 years difference between them. So one could say Kuba was a, a successful competition climber at the time when Maya was born. Oh, yeah, Kuba <laughs> has been on the 
in climbing, in Polish climbing, not yeah. only Polish, international circuit yeah. as well for four years. So his, yeah, he's, his experience he's... is huge. Took part in World Cups. Yeah, representing right. traveled, Poland. Traveled the world for competition climbing. Yeah, in the, in, in the, as a part of the uh, Polish national team. Stop. So Kuba is going through this process of learning the movement on boulder number one. One of the funniest things you might end up with uh, setting this tricky low percentage style is it's really hard to get it the first try, but it takes three tries to learn. <laughs> and yeah, you can see that you can see that he's almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Yot Yotam by now he he stuck it. I think Yotam did it third try and Kuba. Yeah, I think third, third or fourth. Wait, we will see yeah, the results, yeah, yeah, yeah. so we'll know for sure. But I think it was around fourth attempt. So yeah, for guys it's jumping, for ladies it's a lot more positional um, climbing. Um, a little thing I noticed, um, ladies place their feet on volumes far from something I would consider ideal. I, I would say they are placing their feet a little bit too close to the, uh, uh, too close to the wall and far away from the edge of the volume. And and by doing this, they um, are losing these inches yeah. of stability. I think if they were just using very tips of the volumes, standing as, as yeah. far from the wall as possible, they would have that um, yeah, extra percent of, of uh, control in that position. But that comes with experience as well. Oh, I'm sure they have plenty of experience. It doesn't really come... Yeah, honestly, I uh, find it hard to understand sometimes watching other people climb. Sometimes I feel like it's related to the, um, basically to, your, to the size of your body and where your hips are on the wall. Yeah. Mm. That's nice. <laughs> so there we go. We have the first top Sweet. in the women's yeah. final. Maya likes it. And um, in all honesty, if Kuba sticks the first dino, he's going to have one good shot to finish the boat. Yeah, it's only 40 seconds. Yep. Yup. He's yeah, getting, running he's, low on time. He's getting a swing that puts him on the ground. It's a really hard one to get, to be honest. Like, it looks kind of easy when someone does it, and when you do it yourself, it feels it doesn't feel very hard. But um, everything is it. really he, off. He can still do it. That's 20 seconds, uh, assuming that they will yes. go. Now, now he, Great. he has what to he gonna do? Oh. rush this move a little bit. Yes. Ah, that's... He um, he took a risk. went for the intended um, intended bit. But he so. knew he knew he knew he had to make a decision fast he and commit. The, he knew the time was running uh, up, so maybe if he had more time, maybe he would uh, do it differently. But he had to rush the movement, and unfortunately, he ended up on the mats. That's the uh, <laughs> uh, very um, quaint use of um, the penultimate volume. She only tapped it. Tapped it yeah. only this little. She, she yeah. almost went directly to the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. It's actually in the way. The volume is in the way to the top. Okay, we go, we have the next pair of competitors: Nikolai Rusev from Bulgaria on the right, and Alex Dotkova on the left, also from Bulgaria. And the process, um, the process starts again. <laughs> most of you will probably find this information uh, obvious, but um, nonetheless, I will say it: the competitors that we are seeing in the order they are coming out, they have scored better results in the previous round, yeah? So we're actually watching stronger and stronger climbers. Everyone that comes out of the isolation zone and steps on the block has got better result in the previous round. There's always a, a reverse order. But the better result you get in the semis, the later you, the later you step come out. out in the final. Yep. Um, so what, Nikolai, what would you prefer? Would you prefer to start early in the final or rather as the last person? In the final? Yeah. Um, probably somewhere in the middle, to be honest. Yeah, it's um, you can you can tell by the uh, by how the crowd is reacting, how the block goes. That's true. That <laughs> you the finalists are, they are in the isolation, but they can hear the crowd and they can somehow interpret. Yes. If there is a, if there is clapping, a lot of clapping, commotion, and screaming, it usually means a top or a You could near assume top. that yeah. somebody topped, yeah. and and that creates a pressure. 
as well. So if you go first, you, you don't have that pressure. You, you just push as hard as you yeah, can. Yeah, there is, there is an advantage. Like, depends what mm. you prefer. Some people in the isolation, they have headphones because they don't want to hear anything. Yes. Yes. And they only take them off when the, their turn comes. What about you? You actually had plenty of experience with competing at this yeah, level. Yeah, I've been I've com- been on this circle for for many years as well myself. Also competing for Poland. Uh, yes, there we go. We have fantastic some action on the men's boulder. Nikolai, uh, he looks he looks very solid on this upper part. There we go. Another top in the men's final. Nikolai Rusev. How many attempts do you know? Five? It's a comparable number. Like I wasn't really looking, uh, I wasn't really checking, but I think oh, we'll see. Yeah, it could be similar to your three and, uh, three and four. Alex Dotkova. Now the entire focus will be on the women's ball. So as as we can uh, see now, strong ladies definitely prefer to have something to hold on to, even if it's just a little mounting uh, mounting screw holes in the plywood volumes, which is actually legal to use. You can use the, the holes, the, the screw-on holes, holes, right? Yes, uh, yes, you, you can you, use the, the holes which uh, hold the volume in place, but you cannot use the T-nut holes in the middle of the surfaces. This is illegal. Uh, I'm sure the judges uh, are taking care of that. Oh yeah, I'm sure the competitors know what they are. Um, capable of or what's what's um, we allowed a, we got a replay on the men's section on boulder number two i mean uh, boulder number one uh talking about what's legal and what isn't um using the edge of the volume is legal as well isn't it i mean as long as there is no tape black yeah. tape that you, you are allowed to so you could actually yeah. squeeze your nails into the underneath the edge of the volume and just use it as a hold right you can. That yeah. would be illegal. That, that would be that would yeah. be okay. It's not always possible, but sometimes. That really depends on how um, how well made is the volume. True. And there we go. Uh, next one to come out. Marketa Janosova from Czech Republic and Aiden and Dune. Aiden Dunn. I did mention that Aiden Dune uh, made a, a great uh, show in the semifinals. I was impressed watching him climbing in the semis. Very powerful climber. And Marketa Janosova from Czech Republic. From Terlicko, 19 years old. Majority of the finalists are rather young, but that's the natural trend. Uh, More and more really young climbers are getting better and better results on the international circuit. Aiden is 23 years old. He came over from Ashton under Lynn. That's his hometown in UK. And that's his uh, first time in Poland. I had a, a chance to, to chat with him in the isolation. Uh, his friend, Nathan Phillips, uh, was in Poland a few times before and he had a chat with him and uh, recommended that it's, it's a nice comp to come over and he thought that, why not <laughs> he, sorry he, while this is going on I think we we witnessed um, crimping of the edge oh, of the she, volume oh she crimped yep. of the volume that's exactly what yep. he said it's Marketa almost there but there's still plenty of time Yeah, she's got well enough time. Aiden on his next attempt. Interesting, he's going for a slightly different sequence. Um, A handwork sequence is different because he goes... With his left hand, he reaches out to the side of the hole that has friction and goes again with the left. And then there's some magic footwork and then tries to hit the volume far out to the left of his left foot. So okay. It's, um, 
in sort of one smooth movement rather than going one, two, one, two. Up, 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 yep. So to be honest, if he doesn't change this method, it doesn't really look like he is this close to sticking this. We'll see, we'll see in a moment. Mm. Still a minute, more than a minute, Marqueta trying again and yeah. she did and that. There we have well done. Cool. Good effort for, for her. She can come back safely to isolation and uh, and now we will focus on Aiden. It almost looks like he's not even using the largest volume at all for his feet. He went uh, almost he's, oh, for his feet. He he's flying. Jumped, uh, he's flying over to the, that huge right volume. To the hole. Yes, yes. And the left. If maybe I'm. Oh, I'm, oh I'll watch it closely now. Yeah, it's almost like he's not using it at all. We'll see. We'll see. Or very lightly. Yeah. And I think for all of us, it was crucial to kind of yeah land on that huge triangle with our feet to have enough time to tra transfer the body. Oh, that's a beta break. A beta break. Last 15 seconds. It can be done if he goes very yeah. fast. This is a really fast boulder when, when it comes to nine seconds. It's going to it be hard to top. Could be a bit tricky to do that seconds. in five seconds, but still... No, it's not going to happen for him. Interesting. He, he Interesting. will have to push harder on the next boulders. Well, we we were discussing within the team that to, to win, you definitely need all four. You reckon, yeah? That's yes, yes, that that was our bet. Uh, let's not fast forward that. We'll yeah, for sure, for sure. That <laughs> yeah. But um, we have to make some estimations as well, like... So here we go. We, we have a penultimate pair now from Poland to uh, Slava Krasnoperov and Barbara Wojcik on the left. Um, Basha was showing some really nice performance in the previous rounds. She was moving really well and very efficiently, not um, wasting attempts. Uh, reading sequences, yeah, very good um, display of skills. She's very careful on that big volume. She doesn't want to drop it. No. And now Slava. <laughs> he, I was almost he always surprised. Makes, He's surprised he held it. That is his face, man. <laughs> it's, um, I've seen him competing in the Netherlands um, the other week, and he basically, every time he fell off a boulder, he had the same face on. He was like, why did I fail? I was doing so well, you know? Like, <laughs> you're, everything you can, happens within you split fall, seconds. You, you're yeah. a human, you can fall, you know, it's perfectly yeah. okay. He's doing a lot of attempts without resting because he, he knows he's so close. Mm. But again, uh, boulder number one, he, he, it's not very oh. hard, but uh, it's tricky. And yeah, both are. Both are tricky. Yeah. Um, I mean, man one is hard. <laughs> It's a hard boulder. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard boulder okay. to top, yes, <laughs> no mm. doubt about it. <laughs> um, but it's the level of hard that, you know, it's kind of imaginable for, for, for normal mortals. Uh, to top it within four minutes, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind yeah, of the, the inhuman. Time is the biggest enemy. Uh, always. By all means, yes. You, all means. How many attempts can you do in four minutes on, on something, what is, for example, powerful? I mean, this is a bit... Uh, balance and tricky dynamic. Uh, they style. had close to, to a dozen, I think. Yeah? Probably. Uba probably had about 12, 12 to 15 tries. But it's not very tiring, that, that's the good thing. This one not. Uh, if if it was uh, the other part of the wall, maybe all overhanging, then, yes. then, then I'm, I'm sure they would uh, spend more time on the mats just resting in between the attempts. And here it's like, you can, you can go again straight away almost yeah and most of all you can't really stop once you once you start the movement it's it's purely commitment style of bouldering like with with the women's block you know you can spend a lot of time in single position and it, unless you make 
effort to, to carry on going, you can kind of stay in, in the position for kind of as long Probably as you like. It's more like uh, finding... Uh, oh, Slava was so close. That was very close. And the women's boulder is more like a... It's purely positional. Position technique. Yeah. yeah, trusting your feet, uh, putting moving, it, moving your hips. Placing the feet in the, in the right place on the volume. Yeah, kind of reading the dynamic or the, or the physics. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's the physics of, of the uh, boulder. But tell me about the, uh, the styles of the root setting. Uh, did, did you make sure that each boulder is different? Like, uh, did you try to um, keep to that? Yeah. The rule that they should be yes, diverse. Yes, we, we had... Um, Oleg, the chief, was, was giving us some... Um, he was asking for specific styles of sets. And I think we... Eight seconds, unfortunately. It's not going to hap yeah, happen for okay. Slava. Uh, unusual, I would say. Uh, unexpected. He, Slava is, uh, was second last year. Oh. That is a little surprising. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I was like, expecting Slava uh, at to least to top it out. Uh, mm. Maybe not in the first two attempts, but but top it out eventually. Definitely a top, and I was expecting a quick one. So, so. yeah, it's tricky, and it's not an easy one. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Our last uh, okay. couple on the ball number one: uh, Katja Debevets from Slovenia and the defender of the title from last year, Edvard Gruzitis from Latvia. Um, Edwards has incredible style of movement. He's very precise and has got very good feeling for timing how to move the body in order to find it perfect. Again, I would uh, solution. I would risk that it's not uh, random that those two are coming out the last. Uh, I think they both have the biggest international experience. In the competitions, Edwards has been on the international life FSC circuit already for for a few years. Katya, Katya, the same. It's part of the Slovenian national team. And uh, what's worth mentioning, uh, she's the oldest among the, the the girls. She's 28 years old, and still uh, managed to to get the best result. Yeah, it's a peculiar thing to say when, when um, both of the competitors are failing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got they... this amazing gift for moving in this beautiful way and then he, like, <laughs> he failed attempt after an attempt. And then Katia reaches the zone on her first go but um, falls off the penultimate move. Um, so what we're expecting to see may not be what we shall Get. I'm getting the impression that Edwards is trying to stick on to this first big hold for a bit too long. It's more like a I should go straight away, just just tap this one and go to the next one. It could be that he finds this position a little bit too compressed. He's he's taller. Right? He is a he... tall guy, yes. Katya just about to go for the last move. Oh, it's interesting because she is actually it, trying to hold on. It looked like uh, she would be better off going straight to the top. Um, what, what's your... Well... Your, do you have to use this penultimate volume yes, or well, not? I, I used it. Used and I was it, using okay. it in a similar way um, to the way Katya is using it. So my right hand was going to the uh, utmost part of the volume. Okay. But after two failed attempts of Katya, it looks like her hands are pulling um, directly downwards and um, I think she should be pulling so slightly more sideways. Okay. When her hands are slipping off the penultimate volume, they are moving in a downward motion and they should be moving in a sideways. She should be pulling more towards the top hold. Yeah, should create the momentum to the left. Yeah, like increase the momentum and get more power. There we Move go. Into the left. Let's see if she can yeah. pull it off right now. She went almost straight with the left one. Yeah, it's it's a tricky position of that volume. It's just in the way. Like 
But that, you know, we found that we found a way to use it. But okay, okay, we got some progress yes. on uh, <laughs> proper limit on the men's boulder. Mm. But time is running out. Uh, 20 yeah. seconds left. They both have to sp speed up. They, Oof. You can see, Edward, that it looks promising. But there's no still control. no, no there unfortunately, was no control. he's not going to make it. And he isn't going to make it. Katya, that's her moment. She now or never. Kind of now or never. She's yeah, got it. Wow. She's got it. <laughs> perfect. Okay, yeah. Perfect finish, I would say, on the, on the boulder number one. Uh, three seconds before. Now we will progress on uh, to boulders uh, number two. What's your... What's your uh, feedback after the the boulder number one? Did it play the role? Did it you say you satisfied as a root setter? Yes, I agree. I agree. I think it was it was a nice warm up for them to get into the final uh, yeah. vibe of the competition. Not too hard. Uh, we we've seen a few tops. Yeah, two tops. I mean, we were actually expecting more. So we can already. Ooh. Okay, we saw the, the live results for a short moment. Hopefully the operators will try to show us a little bit more, maybe later in between. And again, we have the first couple of competitors, Bianca Janecka from Poland and uh, Jotam oh, van Ro Royven from <laughs> Israel. <laughs> that was uh, close. So tell me about what boulders number two. Um, different style, I guess. Yeah, they are different style, and I, even though this is all teamwork, um, I kind of I built both of them. A lot of volume. I was I was in charge of boulders number two uh, for men and for women, and I am a little stressed right now. How, how many <laughs> volumes is on the women's boulder? Uh, all I could get. <laughs> all, all no, not all of them, uh, but that you had. Yeah, but that was. So she, yeah, she's making a steady progress. Making a nice yeah. progress. Um, Already on the zone. They, um, but this is not done yeah, yet. Yeah, coming out of that position should That's the second take some commitment. Oh, she did a great work on, on that part, actually, to be honest. And the Yotam is firing for this dynamic uh, movement on men's boulder. I saw this one. I saw uh, Roots is trying it before the final. So I can say uh, that it's, you need to really launch for that move, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, you kind of like want to rip the holes, because the they, starting holes of the wall. And yeah, and then it's not only about reaching the, the second higher hold, but also you need to be high up with your body so that the undercut works because you need to go again to almost dyno, like a double dyno with switching hands. Yeah, yeah, left hand you switch and right hand goes to the next uh, big wooden volume. Yeah, it's sort of, you know, it's just like standard movement. It's, there's nothing maybe groundbreaking about it, but to kind of get it right, you know, to dial it down in, in four minutes, it's pretty hard. And, um, yeah, it should, I, should be hard. I used to uh, root set a little bit uh, in the a past. A little bit is an underestimation, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I did some competition. A fair bit, uh, yeah, definitely a fair bit. And it was always uh, a thin line. Uh, between making the boulder too easy or too hard. It's, oh, the line is incredibly thin. It's thin. It's incredibly thin. Sometimes you reposition a structure or a hold and you introduce a change and you twitch it by just literally... Fraction. Yeah, a fraction of... Changes like, everything. Yeah, three mil change, but that just changes mm. everything. Makes the boulder too easy. Yeah, yeah. too easy, too hard, nothing in between. <laughs> And it's yeah, it's it's an educated guess at the end of the day. Like you can. Oh, well, that comes with experience. Uh, Betam uh, trying again. Yotam, sorry, Yotam Ben Royven. Yes, that was he. Uh, he attempted he an alternative solution. He tried to go to Gaston. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. overhanging. It was. It uh, can be done, but it was can, meant to be, that be very, very hard. That would be very powerful if he did that. Yeah, that's actually the reason why the tape was placed on top of that starting volume. Um, okay. On during the setting process, during, sorry, during the testing process, we had one of the guys on the team who was able to um, 
Yeah, catch the first one and then jump into the uh, right hand undercling. Okay. And stay in that Robin Hood position. And his right foot was landing on top of that great volume. And once he stuck the foot on the volume, he was able to hold that position. So we thought we want to force one specific type of movement, which is this uh, double double dyno. Uh, double dyno into a paddle compression or like into a compression clutch. Yeah. And in order to force that a little bit more, we added um, silver tape on top of that volume. Sure. Um, yeah, it's proven hard. Um, as expected, actually. Yeah, the uh, difficulty of the blocks we we expected to be increasing. increasing. Yes. So number one was meant to be the easiest. Bianca actually, Bianca had a very good flash go, and I don't think he. Uh, I, don't, I don't think she managed to Impro reach improve the, the high the point score. Again. Yeah. Maya likes the Kuba Jodłowski. Polish couple. Yeah, both from Poland. Big age difference between them, but it doesn't uh, mean that they are yes. weaker or stronger. They both super strong. Awesome. Oh, Kuba looking at his skin. I wonder what he's thinking. Uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, a lot of climbing throughout the qualies and the semis. And uh, like I mentioned before, Kuba pushed extremely hard in the semis in order to secure a place in the final, so. Yeah, it was probably worth mentioning. He doesn't really compete these days that much anymore anyway. Like he, um, he mostly focuses on hard uh, outdoor climbing. I mean, he's, he's not the youngest. Uh, so no wonder that was very close for Kuba. This is exactly the intended beta. This is the intended And beta, uh, yes. it looks that it's gonna work. And um, it's interesting because the right hand is good, the left hand is sort of very steep. Yeah. So you're kind of letting go of it <laughs> as you're getting the better position. I think Maya is um, getting a little bit lost in the complexity. There is the underside of the second diagonal volume is very good. And we thought about using it in the testing process or in the setting process, I thought about making use of it. Yeah. Then, during the testing, we realized it's the easiest way is just to lean off that edge and place your, so smear your feet on the lower volume. He almost held it. It's two minutes, more than two minutes. He will try again. Um, that must have given him a boost because he knows he, he can do it. He, he, it's going to work. It's going to work, but that actually, uh, well, that was quite uh, energy uh, consuming. It's, it's rather a question whether he has enough juice to deliver that at this stage. He's experienced, he will take a little yeah. bit of rest now. Yeah. Uh, no point in jumping straight to it again. In the meantime, Maya is making slow progress here on Boulder. Yeah. Number two. Yeah, so the hands are decent, the feet aren't. The feet aren't really. Yeah. It's... Um, it's really body tension-y. We can see the live results on the bottom part of the screen for you to, if you want to follow. Come on, Kuba. He's got yeah. it. Yeah. So we should see the zone for him. Score in the zone. The awesome. Zone. Can he do it? That's not the end. He still No, to... certainly not the end. This is hard. It was meant to be, yes, this, yes. This is really hard. You still, you need to hit it in the perfect sweet spot that crimp is blocked, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it's blocked, but the blocker doesn't really get in the way because of where your body is. And it's just hard to find the right position and get a lot of weight off the tiny hidden foothold. But he's got the zone, so that's... He got the zone, yeah. Uh, that's something that can help him in the final score. 25 seconds. I don't know if it's enough time. What do you think? It, he he should be. I, it looks like he's gonna. Should get going right now. Yeah, and, and he's not it's... doing it. He's no. probably gonna give up. Yeah. Is he trying? No. He decided to leave some uh, stamina for later boulders. 
replay. We have a replay of this movement. Amazing. Go. No, that was the failed attempt. The, the failed attempt to replay. That's going to be the, the one that he managed to... Yeah, so uh, finding that little black foothold is it's especially hard it's tiny, from that it? position. Is it a little bit... Well, yeah, hidden, hidden behind it's hidden. Blue it is one. hidden, and it's it has only one should sweet he, spot. Should he <laughs> have that toe hook, um, or, or rather go go uh, with a drop knee? What, what was your beta for this? Drop knee, cross. yeah, drop knee was one of the ways we explored. Um, we had an extra foot for kind of encouraging the drop knee, but then we decided it was a little bit too easy. Okay, uh, and it goes without the drop knee. Um, Sure. In the meantime, we have oh, Bul cool. uh, Bulgarian couple yeah. uh, looking uh, quite uh, comfy. Climbers already. <laughs> Alex Totkova. There's a slight pronunciation mistake. There should be Totkova, not Tokova. Maybe the operators could change that. Spelling mistake. Tiny. And Nikolai Rusev uh, on the right. After the second boulder, we will have. Uh, after the second boulder, we will have a short break uh, for the camera. Fantastic, camera Nikolai operators uh, to switch the angle of the cameras so we could enjoy the the best possible uh, views on the boulders. Nikolai. Uh, is he can he do it oh my god this is uh, this is amazing position that body was, position he put himself yeah, in a combination of wow. yoga climbing yeah that requires a lot of super mobility mobility and in the hips and control i was i'm very impressed <laughs> i was the master of contortionist <laughs> that's cool so Alex is obviously taking uh, a proper long break after a fairly good uh, flash try on the um, second block. Um, is she going to recreate the flawless way up to the... We'll see in, in a moment. Mm. Oh, bleeding. Man is bleeding. That's no good, because he is going to have to tape it up, and that will consume Yeah, the time. judges uh, will yeah. force him to, to put the tape on, and unfortunately, uh, the He the hasn't clock got much is, time for the, it. The clock leaves no mercy. It's I mean, it's, down. at the end of the day, this isn't IFSC competition, so maybe they will just let him... In a, a way, call. yes, it's a friendly yeah. comp. Let's not to me, it looks that. like he, he was allowed to carry on going. But obviously... We we take a lot from the IFSC competitions as a uh, as a base for for a lot of things. For those of you who are only just joined us, uh, we are broadcasting live from Krakow in Poland. Uh, second edition of uh, Mood Masters uh, bouldering competition, a huge international event that attracted more than 700 climbers from different, 18 different nationalities from all across the globe. And we are enjoying boulders number two. Uh, men's boulder on the right and the women's uh, on the left. And the last five seconds. Oh, yes. Uh, she's got the zone. She managed to get the zone. So that's, that always counts. Will improve her score. Yeah, last second zone. And now we welcome uh, Marketa Janosova from Czech Republic and Aiden Dune from UK. I wonder if anyone else will come up with this uh, knee overhead. Is this, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this it is, makes it this actually so, makes he perfect almost, sense. He almost yeah. did that. He, yeah. I can see it working. Yeah, I think if he had one more try, he would have. Succeeded. But you, you, you need, really need to have uh, great mobility in the 
Oppa. Look oh, that was how, easy. How easy it looked. Yeah. In the way oh, looking for it. the foothold. That is a little hidden bastard, that guy. What uh, what beta he's gonna choose? He's going for this hook. He I can He's going for this heel now. Swapping swapping feet. Yeah, swapping feet. Can he just lock off? Hard. He he locked off on this scrim. But that's gonna be more difficult. Uh, going move your body to the left after this uh, feet swap. Oh, that's cool. That's so great. Marqueta. She was looks promising for her. Yeah. There we go, we got top on boulder Fantastic. number two. Well done, Marqueta, good effort. But I would say that was 100% effort, or 99% or effort, that little foot transition. Yeah, she's got to be happy. Uh, was that the flash attempt? Yeah, I think it was yes. a flash attempt. Yes, unless... Mm -hmm. So that puts her in a really great position, uh, halfway through the competition. Aiden decided to keep his chain. I was chatting to him yesterday about it, that he fl he uh, climbed and sent so effortlessly and while wearing the chain and he was like, yeah, but I'm going to take it off for the finals. And That's an extra as we can see, he, <laughs> he decided, decided to keep it. And still cruising. <laughs> he considers, maybe he brings him luck, you never know. Maybe brings him luck. Or maybe he will take it off now and just send it like it's nothing. <laughs> Put the weights down and... We got yeah. re replays for Mar Marqueta top. It's taking some uh, time to rest. Perfectly understandable. Yeah, no doubt. This boulder uh, is way more powerful than the first one. Yeah, the amount of force you have to create to I mean, gain enough height to hit the first guy and then to keep on going with the momentum. Yeah, you and can see that it's... Yeah, uh, you can get it and still not know it 100%, you know. But this lock-off he did to, in order to go across, that must have cost us him some energy. Uh, some bicep... Bicep uh, energy. Resource, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. True. Yeah, it's apparently cost him everything. <laughs> yeah, 50 seconds. Yeah. Uh, he can still have a shot. Is he gonna? Is he gonna do it? What do you think? Now or never? Come on! There we go. Just had enough height this time. I wonder if he's gonna go for the same beta. Is he gonna swap feet, or is he going for something else? He's trying to go for something else. He's having he's the same idea. He's going for the hill. He's yeah. going for the hill, but the he dropped idea. this idea. Oof, that is so hard. No. Yeah, if you don't have the control, he rolling into that left hand yep. pinch is he heads back almost to isolation. Uh, yeah. No top for Aiden. Next one to come out from Poland, Barbara Wojcik and Slava Krasnoperov. So coming back to what we talked before, do you still think you have to have four tops? Um, it's it's not as... I normally say I simple. don't think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of let's unfamiliar see, let's with, see, with this Let's see what concept. Slava uh, comes yeah. with here. Oh, he... Barbara is on the wall as well. You can see Slava is watching his skin. Yeah, foot slip. They they running on, she on was, low um, skin. Mm, mm. All of them, I guess. Unfortunately for Slava, he didn't top out uh, boulder number one, so he knows that he he has to. He's behind uh, a little bit. He needs to make up for it. Hopefully on this boulder, if he wants to 
fight for top spots in this competition. Barbara. Yeah, it's kind of now or never. He must know that there were tops on boulder number one. I'm yeah, sure. certainly. I'm mm. sure they they could hear the crowd screaming. Come on, Barbara. Go for it. No foot slip this time. Foot slip this time zone. Yeah. No, this is very unstable. It doesn't look this way because the holes are very positive, but for some reason the wall angles and the positioning of your feet and the angle of the holes is just puts you in a particularly unstable position. But that's the, isn't it the, the whole point of resetting, to put them in the unstable and not comfortable position? I would say so, yeah. yeah, yeah. The whole point is making it unstable, a little bit hard to read, um, and unpleasant too, and put them put them in positions when where there is no way back. I think True. a good competition setting is this style of setting where once you commit to a move, there's no way there is no way back. You either stick it or, or you waste an attempt, you but end up on the mat. You can't end this endlessly, like you know, reposition and or change. trying different beats. Yes, uh, yes, without failing until you find the right one. Yeah. If you commit. Yeah. You lose a try. You, you need to try again, and your score is slightly worse. And that's probably what differentiates um, yeah, that's the essential competition route setting from commercial route setting. And also, that's what differentiates the best competition climbers that they yes. they constantly are able to find the yes. best solutions first go or yeah. second go, the faster. And the more advanced the round is. The less margin, the smaller the margin margin of error. Yeah, they just is. they just know how to read boulders, yeah. and that's a different thing to be able to read the boulder, but that goes in connection with what you. It's it's the difference between what you think you can do and what you can actually do. <laughs> yes. So you can you you can come up with a solution that you think is going to work, but then you find out that it's not going to work. But if you come up with solutions that you know you're gonna be able to do and then you deliver it that's that's what shows the uh, the best oh, out of the best i well they, i really they know their abilities that, um, his foot is not stuck in that okay. little jam <laughs> he's not going to reach it is he he, he needs uh, to release he shouldn't be he has to release that foot, yeah. the toe hook i mean even if he did reach that hold releasing that jam still would be yeah. super hard anyway well scar in the zone Spilling um, some chalk over over it. Second, um, boulders, boulder for men, uh, still unbeaten. Uh, and there's only Edward Grozitis uh, after Slava. We have a replay of this first uh, dynamic part. Right. Are we going to get two tops? I sincerely hope so. Well, in the in the right last now. couple. Yes, okay, Katja right Debevets from Slovenia, Edvard Grizitis from Latvia. If Edvard does it, he will put himself in a really good spot already halfway through. What about Katja? There was we had one top. Uh, from Alex in control, Dotkova in control, although going for the wrong, the, yeah, for the riskier sequence. Uh, Katya is looking confident. Okay, we have progress for yeah. Edwards as well. Slow match, uh, looks very good for Katya. She's already good. one hold away from the top. There we go, just needs to match. Well done. Katja Debevets from Slovenia. Another top under her belt. And uh, Edwards, is he gonna do it? Still plenty of time, but even for him, this going across seems very daunting. Well, we wanted to have hard blocks, so we have hard so blocks. So we have hard blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but come on, I mean, uh, the ideal would be to 
for every boulder to have a top, but sometimes it is the way it is, and mm. the block proves to be a little bit too difficult for the stake, and it's uh, it's not unusual. It happens every now and then. Uh, I would like to mention again the support from uh, numerous sponsors of the event. We have Black Diamond, uh, T-Wall, Climbing Wall, also the Czech Kumpli Brewery, uh, same way, so Tree Camp, uh, company On Lemon, uh, the clothing brand Agrest, uh, also company Hastan, uh, Heartbeat Clothes, uh, Mano, Varapo, uh, also Rostains, uh, and as well, uh, the climbing portal in Poland, the biggest one of Spinanie.pl. You can watch us live on YouTube. Uh, the, the event is being streamed live also on the Mood, Mood YouTube channel, uh, Bouldering TV channel. Spinanie.pl is also broadcasting this event live. So we are trying to reach uh, as widest audience as possible in the hope that maybe next year uh, we'll see even more and more people coming to Poland, especially given the, the cheap flights sometimes you can find. Ryanair is flying to Poland or Wizard from different countries. We invite everyone, if you want to enjoy a nice and friendly comp, please come over. And there we go. We finished boulders uh, number two, we have live live score. Marketa Janosova is in the lead. Uh, we've also two tops. Katya Debevets, Marketa has slightly better attempts to the top and she's leading. And then Maya Oleks, Barbara Wojcik, Bianca Janecka, Alex Totkova. Halfway through the competition. Um, in a moment, we'll see the men's result. And there, was, there will be a, a short break now. Uh, we've been informed that it should be uh, around uh, between five to ten minutes because the camera operators uh, they will be changing the placement of the cameras so that we can have the best possible views on the boulders number three and four in front of you boulder uh, for the men Nikolai Rusev in the lead the only climber to have a top in two zones okay Jotam Bendroyven uh, Follow up, as a follow-up, second place, and then Edward Cruzi.
Welcome back. Uh, the cameras are already in the right place. We can see some re replays of the best actions uh, on boulders number one and two. That's the Jotam Ben Reuven topping out boulder number one. Maya Oleksy from Poland uh, topping out boulder number one as well. There we go, dynamic movements uh, served by our root setting team. Kuba Jodłowski here on the boulder number one. It was very close for him, unfortunately, without the top. There we go. Katja Debevets here, topping out boulder number one as well from Slovenia. Last second top as well. We are moments away from continuing the competition on boulders number three. Now the operators are showing us some best moments from the first half of the final. Here Kuba Jodłowski launching for the dynamic movement on boulder number two. And Nikolai Rusev, similar on this part of the boulder number two. Unfortunately, the second part of the boulder proved to be a little bit too hard for the final stake. Aiden Dune. Aiden's flash go, I think that was. Yeah. Yeah. And here we have Alex Dotkova topping out boulder number two for women. There we go, matching the final hold. So in case you were wondering whether this round gets easier after number two, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it's encouraging. <laughs> Slava Krasnoperov here, also. Best moments uh, of his climbing on boulder number two. Again, for those of you who only just joined, we are halfway through the MUD Masters competition in Poland, in Krakow. Top six men and women are fighting for the title here. They were chosen, uh, they chose themselves to be in the final from among 700 people that came over to compete in this comp. Over three days, everything took place. First there were qualies, uh, then semi-finals, and now the cream of the cream. 
the finals, top six in each category. I think we are almost ready. Just a quick look at where we are in terms of the results in the women's. Marketa Janosova in the lead, Katya Debevets just behind her with slightly bigger number of attempts to the top. And then Maya Oleksi running third. Those are subject to change. There's another two boulders, everything can change. Our sponsors on the bottom, Black Diamond, Tiwol, Mravartrek Kumpli, and many more. Also, Mood Bouldering Gym. This is our host. Uh, great bouldering gym. A lot of people involved from uh, different angles, uh, from, from uh, judges, root setters, organizers. A lot of people involved. We are, we are seconds away, and we'll see climbers again on boulders number three. Let's invite them. From Poland, Bianca Janecka. And from Israel, Jotam Ben Royven. I think Jotam is rocking that 80s style. He's got a little moustache going on, a little headband. Yeah, all smiles. I think he's having a good time. And he's, an, he's another one with uh, World Cup experience, right? Yes, he's, he's in the Israeli uh, national team. So how many, how many competitors with World Cup experience do we have in this I would uh, need final? To, I would need to count, but uh, just out of the blue... Some have more recent experience, like Jotam, uh, Kuba, Jodłowski... No, I, I'm not going to lie. A while ago. I'm not going to lie. All of them. I all just, of them? Yeah, I just took a look at them. All of them took part in IFSC competitions. Maybe, I'm not sure about Barbara Wojcik. But, but it, when we you know, count the juniors as well, yeah, 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 yeah. Then, as we should, and as a youth youth cup, mm. IFC youth cups. Okay. I'm pretty much sure all of them have some experience behind their belt. Awesome. On the international circuit. Well, so that's in case you were wondering how hard these blocks are. Yeah. So these are World Cup or international cup competition climbers, and they are having a hard time. Bianca Janetska already. Uh, on the mat after her first attempt, but that looked promising. Yotam uh, tried already once as well. I can see men's boulder, uh, some, some power movements. And a, bit of, a little bit of technical uh, flexibility required on boulder on the women's side. We'll, we'll know more in a moment after we see some more action. Yeah, women's is a combination of um, physical and... Um, again, small box, small box positions for, for women. Okay. As soon as they hit the zone with the left thumb, bringing the right foot onto that stack of footholds is really difficult. Like we... Yeah. The, all the guys on our setting team were in that position and were much taller than most of the ladies competing in this final. And for us, it was horribly hard to bring the foot up. I mean, of course, there were, there were team members who could do it, uh, and that's how we decided that's the right level. But on average, for, for a grown-up male, it was really hard <laughs> to fit into that little position. I mean, this, this was fine. Um, and finding the right um, shoulder position to start the press was kind of tricky yeah jamming the heel uh, jamming the the knee helps a bit yeah she did uh, mm. she was trying this Yotam keeps falling from that movement the swing is taking him down yeah it's um, to be frank the holds are terrible on on men's three they are no good and it's far <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I hope they will manage to stick the move. Just a few words again about the, the root setting team for this competition. Uh, chief setter is Alexander Romanovsky from Warsaw. He's uh, one of the IFSC setters. Uh, next to him, uh, Piotr Suder, Kuba Jurek. Krzysztof Szalacha, Tadeusz Spugocki, Krzyś Kasprzyk, Wojtek Wątroba and also Piotr Schab and Piotr Smaroń. Uh, those two are more uh, involved in the mood gym as well. Piotr being one of the owners. Uh, 
and the other coach, Smaron, is the manager of the mood bouldering gym. 20 seconds left for Bianca and for Jotan. No, is he going to try once again? He looks he like will. he yeah, may yeah, want yeah. to. He's got 10 seconds. He's going to launch for the last time. Looked like he yeah. hit it right, but was too tired and just couldn't hold that tension. He goes back to the isolation. Next one to come out will be Maja Oleksy and Kuba Jodłowski, both from Poland. Let's see if Kuba Jodłowski will show us some of the, the, well, po could the be, power he showed us yeah, in the semis. Yeah, this actually could be very um, suit his style. Yeah, he's, he's. I know he trains a lot of campusing. He's one of the the dynamic uh, climbers. He, he likes this sort of movement. Mm. My Alexi, what about her? Maybe she will open mm -hmm. this boulder for us as well. She managed to hold the Gaston. So now you need to push with the volume, okay? That looks good for her. Should she go to the Gaston again like that? Like what's she doing right now? Okay. Kuba's taking his time to brush the holds, making sure that the, the friction can be crucial on this boulder. I wonder whether she, he should match the hold that he's trying to reach with his right hand. Uh, match as in go with both hands? As in the right and the left, quickly. Or whether he should try to stick it with one hand, but then the swing is, is um, terrible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the aim hold is actually okay. It's, it's definitely the best hold on the, on so the boulder. you just need to stick it in the right place. What about yes. uh, Maya? Should she go... Into the Gaston, what do you think? Um, what was the intended beat? She beta? has to, as she comes into the press with the right, like that, left now, what and now release right now. That yes. looks good for her. Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, come yeah, on, Maya, yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. That looks good. Aye, that's, that was that's by, pretty good. By far the best attempt yeah. of her we've seen on the boulder. But that's that's good level as well because you you okay she failed. But you could tell she was very close, yeah? Yeah, and, and now and off. she knows now yeah. that this is the way, and she will try to repeat it. Yeah. Halfway through the time, so still got some left. Two minutes left. Yeah, it's probably one good attempt. More than enough to yeah. top out. It should be one good attempt, perfectly timed. What to about beat. Cuba? It's, um, yeah, it's a little harder with the men's problem, um, because it's, it, it requires so much co um, commitment. Yeah. It's really hard to see what you can do differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't really have any time to, to kind of think about it. You can't really reflect on what you're doing wrong and, and change it. It's just you have one go and you either stick it or you don't. You have enough this is it for power Maya. or you don't. This is it for Maya. Come on, come on. I... Yeah, Not the, sure if the knee left. is still locked. Like the knee she has is locked. Unlock she needs the to unlock knee. the knee. No, it's good. It's looking good for her. Come on, Maya. This is so close now. Uh, lost focus. I don't know why she fell. Yeah, this, she lost focus on the right foot, and okay. this foothold. This is. Oh, it's tiny. This is. Um, yeah, what we oh, were saying earlier. Yeah. Okay. No margin of error. This is a final of an international competition, and if you lose focus for you, a split of a second, you find yourself you're out. The mat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. She was focusing no. on her hands and... Little details. Yeah. Everything matters now. Yeah. Kuba. Come on, Kuba. Come on, stick it. Stick it, Kuba. Yeah, that, looks, it. that looks really hard. It is, <laughs> actually, yeah. That was no joke. Kuba, one more go. 15 seconds, come on. Now or never, yeah. at least the zone, you know, the zone that counts as well. That was close. Oh. 
Wow, no, was... it's not gonna happen for either of them. Yeah. That was a ballsy move, I gotta say. You know, Maya just jumping for the top. But there's like, one no more control. boulder. They can still improve their scores. Let's welcome from Bulgaria. <laughs> She's so pissed off. <laughs> Marketa, uh, sorry, uh, Alex Totkova and Nikolai Rusev. Next couple of climbers. That's the replay of yeah, that uh, was the, fa so the first spin. attempt, and that's the second attempt, mm. which she managed to stay on the wall, but <laughs> ah, the... that was so close for Maya. Unfortunately, no top. Bulgarian couple, Nikolai Rusev on the right, already wasting no time. Man's got the skill. He's he's got the strength. He's, go, he's going after it straight away. Yeah. He he read the boulder. He's not wasting any time. Alex trying to find herself in the starting position. Uh, this is probably the right moment to kind of mention how difficult it is to nail the difficulty on the point because um, you you watch climbers compete in semi-finals and. You know, you, you you make certain decisions based on how they performed in the previous round, and these guys just cruise that's through why, those blocks. That's and, why I asked you whether you made any tweaks last minute, because I know from my experience yeah, resetting that yeah. you set the finals as the first round. So you set yes. the finals before you watch competitors on the semi-final boulders. So you had the final boulders already set, and then you watch the semi-final, and you have this small room for time to, to make some amendments in in this particular case we had nearly a whole day to make changes and sometimes having too much time is is more of an enemy than not having enough of it <laughs> i agree because if you have very little time you have to set a problem and you have to make all the decisions i would go on further. the spot i would go even further I, i'm uh, I prefer not not to change anything because sometimes uh, the, the the first idea is the best and uh, yeah but that would be a very tricky approach to apply to setting all the comps sometimes you know like so things just change and while setting a specific round you don't have 100% certainty who's going to be yeah, you, in that round or you know what disposition they're in and, true um generally I'm kind of against. There we go. Yes, Amazing man, effort from skill. Nikolai. Awesome. Is he gonna make the best out of this attempt? He's got the zone. He's been awarded the zone. Now he needs to match it. Delicate shoulder. Going work. very slowly. Yeah. That looks really good for him. Can he pull off this last move? Come oh, on, yeah. Nikolai. Look Come on, Nikolai. Stability. There we go. Yeah. Nikolai Rusev. Oh, that fighting. He, he has to match it. He, he has to match it. Oh no! Are that they is gonna... no top. And now he's looking at the no judge. Way. No, no, no. He was not in he, control. He wasn't in control. So no, sorry. You can see on his face that he doesn't he have knew, a top. He yet. knows. He knows. In order to be awarded a top, you have to remain in a controlled position for three seconds, holding with, with both of your hands. So what was? And the that was not the case here. What was the problem here? What do you reckon he didn't work with his uh, toe hook enough? Because toe hook keeps him on the wall. I mean, on the right part of the wall. And this, this is the, the top hold is a Gaston move. So yeah, I mean... Slopey Gaston move. So you need to work with your feet. Mm, you, could, you could say that was um, due to shortcomings in footwork, but you could also say that was probably he had no chalk on his hand. <laughs> and <laughs> and it's unfortunate for him that <laughs> not much time left. Yeah, he, he has to go now and... Uh, and we know that this move is super hard. Anyways, that was a really good effort from Nikolai. So close. It was so close. Alex finds this starting position really difficult. Time's up. We welcome next competitors from Czech Republic, Marketa Janosova. And Aiden Dune from UK. I think this uh, problem might suit Aiden. Might suit Aiden. I have exactly yep. the same uh, feeling that this first part of the boulder is very powerful, which Aiden... Okay, so what happened? No, he's got... He had a very good foothold. It was just 
due to... I don't know, maybe his hips stayed to the left um, too much, maybe... He was trying to use a toe hook instead of a heel hook. Maybe if he maybe the had heel a would heel work hook better. in, heel hook would keep that would open up the, the hips yeah. in a slightly different manner. Okay, let's see Aidan. Uh, yeah, he sort of didn't hit this first hold uh, properly. Marketa mm. on the wall. No, uh, current leader, actually. If she scores yeah, a quick top on this... She will put herself in a sweet spot. She'll be in a very good position. Holder, yes. Okay, she's progressing slowly. She's got the zone. Trying to place right. the foot on this tiny oh, footstep. That is it's a not easy. struggle. It's not easy. She's slowly oh, standing up. Yeah, she's got it. So she's got it like exactly like you said before. She had so much control until until she hit that handhold. A very, very uh, special case. I, I will point this out. Sometimes you rest your weight on your feet and you have control and the weight distribution is even, so you stand on the footholds with your feet and that's cool. Once you hit the handhold, that kind of disturbs your balance. And you and focus you on the fall, footstep. You fall off, you slip off the footholds because you grab the handhold and this is so and you, strange. And you transfer the, yes. the, 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 yes. yeah, the yeah, power yeah, yeah. and this, holding this onto this, the this hand. Little, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. And, and I think that was that was the case here because she was stable on her feet, but as soon as she hit the thumb, yeah, there was, she lost the foot. There was only a footstep yeah, because was there was fine. A, there was <laughs> disruption disruption in yeah. the whole um, balance. You add up a hand, mm. and all of a sudden the footstep yeah. stops working. But it seems illogical, yeah. Like how can I be? Yeah. Like I have two points of contact that, and I'm solid, and then the, I get the and third this, one and this in, is the additional and I'm point off. of contact that should help yeah. me. And <laughs> yeah. it actually, yeah, exactly, would, would yeah, exactly like, the opposite. Uh, come to intuitive. Come on, Marketa, so. you can do it again. I like the fact that they're um, jamming the knee it, against the slippery yeah, that, side of that, the hole. That definitely helps. So it's not taking any skin off. Like, oh, I'll, 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 she adjusted the foot, oof. which is really good. Yeah, this is good. The, the lower hips. the left foot, the better. Okay, now she needs to somehow open this left hip as well. There we mm. go. Okay, this is very close now. So well, close and yet so far. Hands up pull. She slipped from this left, yeah. under, uh, left side pull, which is very tiny. Aiden Dune. He's part of the precision climbing team in the UK. Came over from Ashton under Lynn. One minute left. Marketa. Oh, unfortunately, she slipped on the volume. But she's, uh, she's in a good spot before the final boulder with two tops and the zone already. And she still have a chance to improve that score. Yeah, 30 seconds. Not yeah. so much Not for so much. a um, complex positional climbing on poor hands and feet. Your Aiden's trying to slow down a bit. That, that uh, it seems so close. This, this uh, every time, huh? Yeah, but still the okay. the swing puts him on the mat. Come on, Marketa, come on. Five seconds. Oh, no, I'm gonna be two minutes, two, two, two seconds. Yeah. No, unfortunately, unfortunately, no top for Marketa, no top for Aiden. And this last boulder, I mean, this uh, last couple that we will see in a moment. I mean, a penultimate couple, I'm sorry. From Slava. Poland, Barbara Wojcik and Slava Krasnoperov. You can see a lot of people inside the venue watching alive. Come on, That's Barbara. That's a tricky way to start she, the boulder. She, she had no momentum. Yeah, yeah, she just tried to jump. Let's yeah. see if Slava can deliver this move. 
Okay, I, I think he is like, okay, it's hard, but I can get it. Yeah, one of the trickier, I think, one of the trickier parts of comp setting is um, factoring in um, how I did on boulder number one and how it's going to affect my performance on the coming problems. Yeah, so if I had a, a oh, yeah. quick send on number one, yeah. I'm in a good mind state and I'm going to just come up and crush the rest of the round. And if I had a bad start on, 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 on the first block? Oh, that's huge. That's what you're saying. It's, it's 100% right. Your mindset changes. I mean, I guess it varies from person to person. If someone is really experienced in comp climbing, they probably won't let you know little failure affect the whole performance so much. But I think at this level, like it's, you know, like I said, it's it, it definitely has an impact, some sort of impact. Mm. on your confidence on the next boulder. So Slava didn't really have the best um, yeah, yeah. beginning of the comp. I mean, yeah, it, it, and I, I'm sure this is less than he was expecting. Like the, the, mm. the, he's, got, he's got this sort of um, attitude that he, he doesn't come out the isolation zone to try the problems. He comes out to send them. Yeah. This, is, this is what his face is showing. When he's That's failing, true. when yeah. he's failing on the problem, his face says, he, "Let's be, let's what? be honest. He's used to topping out boulders, and uh, yeah, he's when he comes out and he doesn't top boulders, that must be you know, frustrating. But to it's stomach. necessary to do well in competitions. Yeah, it's absolutely necessary to do well in competitions to have this mindset. I, I, I know my level. I know the level of these problems. I know yeah. the level of my fellow competitors. We're at the same level. I'm capable of sending this." Yeah. These are my four minutes. I'm stepping out to send. I'm not stepping out to try. Yeah. And Slava is definitely stepping out to send. Oh, and he had a tough start of the comp. And I think now he's trying to sort of. It's like, you know, it's like a cliche, but you need to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then you might as well, you know, give up. Yeah. Well. Come on, Barba. Yeah, she's trying with the knee. There we go. Bit of a Come on, Barbara. shake. She's almost there. She's almost there. Oh my God. So oh, it's, it's good. It's good. She don't need to put the double drop knee. The weight, the weight <laughs> on the footstep. It looks good okay. for her. Her left. Yeah, <laughs> no space for it's error. Such an uncomfortable okay. position. I mean, you can see that she was shaking. Yeah. This position yeah, is so yeah, yeah. uncomfortable that she. Oh no, shaking it's, it's, she, it. she wasn't shaking because the position is uncomfortable. She, yeah. I think she was shaking because she's just, you know, under a lot of pressure and there's probably 200 people watching that right now. <laughs> yeah, I she's think it's tired. And Last time I checked, there was around 300 people watching the stream. Yeah, how many are watching? Uh, let me check. Uh, one moment. Yeah, oof, approaching 300. Cool. Hello to everyone. Hello everyone from Krakow in Poland, second edition of the Mood Masters competition. We are on third boulders. We have international presence here from 18 different countries. Uh, competitors came, more than 700 people took part over the last three days throughout qualies, semi-finals and now the final. And we welcome the last couple on boulder number three from Slovenia, Katia Debevec from Latvia, Edward Gruzitis. Edward is the winner from last year, so he definitely wants to defend this trophy and maintain to be the only winner of Mood Masters so far. But it's not going to be easy. Four yeah, minutes. especially with the current score. Yeah. He is a little bit behind. He needs to do well on this boulder if he wants to fight. Katya going for a much safer solution. None of the uh, previous... None of the uh, girls before attempted it like this. I don't know if you noticed. Um, she pinched. Okay. The big feature jumped up. To the red one, and only then got into the position. Yeah, she slowly was interesting. progresses on boulder number three. Placed the foot already. 
And now you you're gotta looking be really, stable. Really careful because mm. this right footstep is very bad. This side pull is very bad. It's interesting. She, um, she doesn't and, seem. Oh, she's <laughs> matching. She's matching the zone hold. Yeah. That's gonna work for wow. her. Amazing. Katya Debevet topping out and also a flash attempt. Yeah, well, that, that was flawless. That puts her in a really good spot before the final boulder. That was actually flawless. I yes. uh, I shifted my attention to Edvard for like a split of a second and Katya was already past the yeah. <laughs> zone. Oh, she's, uh, she, she, she said something to Edvard said, as well. She probably said, I don't know, something like push hard. Or, yeah, uh, you yeah, can do yeah, it. yeah. It's nice seeing the, the fellow competitors motivating each other. Well, you never know. Maybe she said something mean. <laughs> Yeah, true. I, I, I never know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was impressive. That actually, that was a display I mean, she was, of, in, uh, full um, she was yeah. in full control yeah, 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 throughout, yeah. Uh, from all the way from the beginning. Uh, Didn't mean to be unfair, but this was this sort of performance was kind of expected from her. From I mean, she was the from clean, the beginning clean like, favorite to win. Since, uh, since we all knew yeah. what she scored in the qualies, and she was the only female to score all, all of the hardest we, problems. We did not mention that, but it's it's like you're right. You 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 are 100 percent right to say that she was uh, able to top out all the boulders in the in the qualies. So uh, to give you a perspective, only out of oh, out of all men, you can see that only something happened because Edwards just gave up with still two minutes, almost two minutes. I think he may have injured himself. He may injured. have... Injured? It's uh, unlikely. I don't know. I, there was, yeah, I know he there was a minute. Up. There was a minute mm. and a half and he, he decided not to continue climbing. So uh, that's uh, very unusual. We'll see, in, we'll see in a moment if he comes out on boulder number four. Um, or maybe he just... I think he just... Decided that on, this boulder is too, is, too, is too hard, and I, I, I would rather keep energy for the last one. Maybe. Nikolai Rusev uh, in the lead with a top and three zones. Jotam Ben Royven also one top, but only one zone. So we have a clean, clean leader here in the men's. And now we will go to boulder number four. Yeah, so just, just to finish finish up the yeah. uh, giving you a little background story, uh, Katia was the only person to top all of the hardest blocks and only six men out of all the men competing, only six men managed to score all of the hardest quality blocks. Yeah, that's And remarkable. no other no other women got anywhere near that score. So so there were Bear that in mind, yeah. So there were jokes uh, throughout the quality that she she could maybe compete. She with, could compete with, with the men, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, she, not necessarily, she could do quite well. Oh, yeah, that looked a little tweaky, huh? The Bianca. That was Bianca's best moments yeah. on golden number three, and she was also close. Look, she was close. Yeah, yeah. She just I think she was mm. slightly the wrong beta, maybe. Mm. But uh, that was an overall a really good boulder for women, I think. Who was who said it? Who said the women's um, three, third boulder? Piotrek Suder okay. was the author of the first version. Okay. And then this consumed quite a lot of it's team, all, team effort. Yeah. And a lot of, you know, it's a mix of ideas, it's, but the, the general draft and general idea was Piotrek's. Yeah, it's always a group work, I know. Yes. There we go, Bianca Janetska again. And Jotam, Jotam Ben Royven. And their last uh, four minutes in this competition, ball the number four. Let's see what the root set has prepared over here. You can see there will be some running involved on ball the number four among men. Yo, 100% dedication of okay. men. Really? And for ladies, um, different style of dedication, but kind of. Uh huh. Yeah, same concept, actually. Like, uh, Bianca tried it, the first attempt. Um, you have to place a toe hook above your right hand. Okay. And just reach with your, uh, sorry, right toe hook above your right hand and then reach to the zone. This is, is that the intended beta? Uh, no, this is not hard. at all. No, she, <laughs> not at all. She needs to do a right toe hook, right? That's yeah, right okay. toe hook, okay. uh, stay with the left hand on the, uh, yeah. on the press. 
and catch with the right hand. Yotam seems to be trying to stand still in the middle. He is trying to uh, yeah to stop stop in the no hand, which was the intended solution. Um, I think men's number four is the one that had the most the, the greatest number of different versions. This was too easy. This was too hard. This was too hard. And this is too easy. And this is cheatable. And this is cheatable. And this is cheatable. And this is too hard. Now oh, this is too easy. <laughs> and eventually, you know, just ended up having a version that's, you know. That's some that's good, good effort from uh, Bianca. She managed to somehow do the transition from to the zone hold. And now this huge volume that she needs to somehow get on it. Let's see if she will find a way. The top, you can see the top right there. Not this time. Still some time left. Let's see Yotam. Can he generate enough momentum to transfer his body to um, the left? Come on, Yotam. His whole body is yep. a little bit too far to the right. I think in a perfect world, his spine more momentum. should be sort of parallel to the line between the panels and the wall. Like there is a little line you can see. Yeah. And I think if he manages to get his spine uh, just kind of lined with that, then he has bigger chances of staying. We knew this was hard. Like this, to be honest, I think the initial sequence on the slab is probably the greatest risk we willingly took for this round. Okay. If most of, like, the, the, the rest of the problems, if they were too hard, we kind of, we just expected the guys to be able to pull on. I didn't notice that before, but look how Bianca, her flexibility is amazing. I mean, she... Yeah, the way she can scaringly flexible, it, almost <laughs> like the way she can uh, flex her leg. Yes, it's it's really something to to notice. Yeah, heel is almost like touching the uh, lower back. Yeah. <laughs> Yotam keeps trying, but unfortunately, this is it for him. Not the best, not the result uh, he expected, maybe, you can see, uh, judging on his face. But this is it for him. Uh, we don't know yet which place uh, he will end up with. We will know that after all competitors finish. Some best, re best moments for Biancas on goal number four. And she also finishes Mod Masters final. And we have five uh, pairs of athletes to go. Next one, Maya Oleksy and Kuba Jodłowski. Can they conquer boulders number four? Oh, Maya oh. tried the intended root setting beta of boulder number four. Kuba is getting some idea of what the root set is intended to do here. Now oh, it proves to be Oof. difficult. Yeah, it's more of the Maya's face that I was kind of worried about. She uh, I didn't know had this experience. Uh, just not sure. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> I think this is this is what she uh, had written. Yeah, Kuba Kuba kind of um, is trying one and only method, which we also tried, and okay. we were kind of close. So he's trying to land simultaneously with his. Okay, he's changing his method now, but. Okay. I think her leg, she may be getting some cramps in the leg. Yeah, uh, in the front be. of her yeah. thigh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's From the in, like, intense toe hook. And she's trying to stretch it. She mm. likely will drop this beta if it hurts her. 
I forgot to mention, guys, the, there will be another comp in this mood bouldering gym in April called Easy Riders. And uh, it's, it's worth mentioning that it's, it's going to be a big event, but it's going to be an event more aimed at less pro climbers. So uh, it's an invitation for the people that maybe not consider themselves pro climbers, but would want to taste what the competition tastes like. So there's a huge warm welcome and invite from the Mood uh, Bouldering uh, Gym team for everyone to come out and try uh, the... It's called... Uh, oh, sorry, I've lost it. Yes, Easy Riders, so I've lost the words, sorry about that. Easy Riders, that's the name of the comp. So whoever would want to try uh, competition climbing in a less pro uh, vibe, then, then please come over. That's going to happen in April. Maja Oleksy Kubajodłowski. Yes. And their last minute on last boulders of this competition. Commentators in the venue uh, commentating live for the audience uh, are Piotrek Bunch and Jakub Bux. Uh, people uh, responsible for all the lighting in the venue. It's also worth mentioning there's a big job has been done from Manufaktura Dźwięku. Uh, the live music that we're hearing, the DJ, throughout the, pool, uh, the, the semi-final and the final, uh, there's a crew called Outpost Collective. So Outpost Collective is delivering all the music throughout the Mood Masters competition this year. My name is Grzegorz Karolak. I'm commenting live for you who's watching together with Kuba Jurek, one of the root setters. And we thank to Maya and Jakub for their performance in this final. They already finishing and we welcome the Bulgarian couple of climbers, Alex Totkova, Nikolai Rusev. There are four minutes. Can we see tops on bowlers number four? We will know in a moment. Nikolai is trying to read it. Almost he tried it the intended way. Almost there. This was the intended, yeah, double tap on the first volume and then shift the weight and place the left. Alex is, Alex is trying slightly different way. Look, she. Yeah, she, we. Have you been trying that? Yes. We saw that uh, reaching possible? up to the... Is it possible? Um, so reaching up with the left hand to the pinch is very hard as the pinch is super wide. Oh yeah? The zone is a wide hold if you have it directly above your head. But yes, it's possible. Okay. So hopefully after this... It, yes, Look, he's, Nikolai, he managed to stay on the yeah, wall for a short for moment. For a split of a second. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit too short for it to count. But um, So he's got the skill. Will he have the time and will he, will he have the luck? Exactly. Come yep. on, Nikolai. Yep. Come on. Is he on the... The zone is the zone one up. Next one. Yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. come on, come on. Go for the zone. So you have the zone. That's a zone That's awarded. already some points on it's, this boulder. Um, what about the rest of the boulder? Is it still... Yeah, yeah of course. You can always... That, well, come, on, means, Nikolai, yeah. come on, Nikolai. Come on, Nikolai. Come on. You have... Yeah. You must give 100% in this part. Come on. Feet are poor. Hands are bad. Just to remind you, this, this, this is a slab, so... Tiny, yeah, tiny movement. Positive. Tiny movement matters. 
he needs to be very careful. There we go. Unfortunately, a small slip. Well, at least he unlocked yeah, the first sequence, showing that it's possible and that the, the bet we took as the team was kind of worth it. Um, and honestly, he's currently in the lead. Are so minor, so minute. Last minute for Nikolai and for Alex. Yeah, so as much as uh, Nico is trying to the ob trying to send the obvious way. Alex is kind of stuck in reading the boulder, I guess. Yeah, that's a, she, that's a mystery. I don't think she even once tried to do it the, the way we, we planned. Went. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder if that is because she doesn't want to do it or... Oh, this is the case sometimes. Oh, I think this stuck. is... He's in the upper part and got eight I'm on seconds. Eight seconds. Oh my that would God. be remarkable. Yeah. You can't be so fast on the slab. No. It, it, no. It's not, not possible. Great effort, Nikolai. That's it for him. He won't be able to improve his score anymore. He can only now wait for the rest to finish. And the next one to come out is Aiden Dune and Marke Tajanosova from Czech Republic. Aiden Dune from UK. Uh, fun fact about um, Nico, he turned 18 two days ago. Nikolai yeah. Rusev was walking around with a bag of Kinder chocolate. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did the like, other competitors? Tell everyone. Uh, yeah, yeah, ha like, happy yeah. birthday, Nikolai, <laughs> from us here yeah. in the commentary booth. Is he the youngest? Among men, he's the youngest. Yes. Good performance. Yeah. Right. Aiden feeling very comfortable in these volumes. I really Some wonder points. if that sort of climbing will suit Aiden. He's, we already know he feels really well on, on more powerful stuff. What about slabs? Is he going to show us something extraordinary on the slab as well? That's the idea. The root setters have always this idea to, to root set really versatile problems, to, to choose the most not only the strongest, but also the most rounded, the, the most rounded climber, climber. Yeah, with um, the broadest set of skills. That's the whole idea behind mm. setting different style of boulders in the final. Marketa Janosova from Czech Republic, from Ter Terlitsko hometown. Yep, it's yet another female climber who is going the wrong way. <laughs> I'll mention as well that the media partners of this uh, competition is uh, Spinanie.pl, the biggest uh, climbing web portal, but also Off Radio Krakow and the Bouldering TV uh, channel on YouTube. So these are the channels that we are trying to uh, spread the word about this event so it attracts more people in the future. The stream that you, you guys are watching, it's being done by the company Robimy na Živo. Uh, big crew of people behind that, the, the camera operators, the, the possibility 
for you to see the replays, for us to go live, to have the live results in front of you every now and then and the, the, everything that you guys see. A lot of effort behind that, so huge thanks to the crew of Robimy na żywo. Yeah, tough challenge for boys on the slab. Yeah, and I think it's um, it's mentally hard to stay composed the whole time if you try and run after run. And it doesn't work. And it doesn't work. Yeah. And you kind of know this is what you have to do, and you're getting closer every time. You can see on Aidan's face, you're peeling off face that uh, he, he obviously tried to stay in that zone, that motivated zone, but the time is. There we go. He was almost yeah. there. If if you gave them ten minutes, come on, do it. come on, Marketa, Marketa, some progress. But now she needs to cut the feet. She hasn't got any job. Yeah, cut loose. I don't know if you noticed the little damp oh. <laughs> markings she was leaving on the volume. But that's the result of the, the climbing they already done throughout the previous rounds. The skin is always an issue, isn't skin it? Skin is always an issue. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are ways to deal with it like you know drying agents and different types of chalk but normally um, I think for, for most of elite climbers skin is the most limiting factor yeah yeah imagine because the, the physical the, the performance and, and the physical abilities yeah. are, are very high yes if you look at swimmers or cyclists yeah, they can handle like 10 or 12 hours of, of um, routine training daily yeah. But for climbers, yeah, you can spend 12 hours of of your time in the in the gym just shifting weights, but that's not really going to transfer to your climbing. The only real um, point of transfer is your skin, really. Okay. Must be so uncomfortable. Slava and Barbara Vujic, Slava Krasnoperov and Barbara Vujic trying their boulder number four. Barbara trying to figure out what to do here. And Slava got right into it. Creating the momentum. Amazingly Look stayed on the wall. Work, man. Come on, can Slava surprise us and, and deliver something great over here? Come on, Slava. 45 seconds it took him. Very fast. I think he did it third try. Yeah. Now, man's got skills. He's really talented. It's just, it's just for some reason, maybe it's just he hasn't been his day so far. Or he something. competes a lot. He recently competed oh, yeah. in Dog Masters in in uh, Holland, uh, delivering a great result. He came he came fourth, but from what I've heard, he was very close to actually winning the comp because uh, the, the entire final was very close. The, yeah. the top top four people ended up with two tops. Yes. And so, Slava was one of them, and he was very close to topping the third, third boulder. The third boulder, which would ultimately give, very him, close. give him the, the yeah. win. So, yeah, he's he's in the zone. He's in his uh, prime, I yeah, think. absolutely. And... Uh, I mean, saying that is one thing, but competing a week after week oh, could be something that's probably... Uh, it must, or, must be tiring. Yeah, mounting up too. Come on, Slava. We want to see some magic on this slab. Two minutes. He's got the zone. Yeah, in case you're wondering, uh, the zone handhold is poor. Is it? I mean, you can yeah. see that it's yeah, very... It's it's super slopey. Okay. He's... I think the posi position-wise, the the next hold is a bit better. What, oh. what happened here? He tried to jump a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think... But that was not a wise movement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bring the foot up, reach for the top, find a stable position, buy certain trick, and and then it and then it goes in. Yeah. He has no problem with this first yeah, part of the boulder. His, this is mm, he learned it so fast. Well, he learned it. But to be honest, he still his efficiency is around seventy percent. He doesn't get yeah. it every time. Yeah. He has one bad attempt on every two good ones. Come on, Slava. Come on. Yes. 
Is he going to be on the podium if he tops this? Uh, could be, could be. Possibly, I don't know, right? I'm, you need to... F yeah, so he knows the worth of He it. needs to put yeah, that... Yeah. This is so yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, come on, no, come on, come on, Slava, it. come on. Do it. You can do it, you can do it, come on. Yup. And this is... Well done, well done. Oh Top on God. boulder number four. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the third top of the male round. <laughs> yes, I, I'm sure the the root setter is uh, he he brought a lot of relief <laughs> among root setters. Yeah, I don't know if uh, relief is the amazing word effort. <laughs> amazing effort for for Slava that puts him uh, definitely in the top three now. Uh, Barbara Vujic still she decides to yes finish her competition and Slava follows her to the isolation. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Slava. And now there will be the last couple. We'll welcome Katja Debevets from Slovenia, from Ljubljana, and Edvard Gruzitis from Riga, from Latvia. This is, we got replay on the boulder number four from Slava Krasnoperov. So interesting, um, Katya, three tops, uh, Edvard's uh, three zones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Edvard, you can see he's got no top, but he managed to get a zone on okay. each of the Katya knows first what three boulders. Of her. Yeah. He's just going to do it. Yep. There we go. This is the beta that, from Rutsatas. Yep. Can she read the second part of the boulder? I think she can. I think she engages Same. into the next gear, to be honest. So she, uh, from number three, she looks like she, yeah, honestly, like activated you, a different part of her brain. There you go. Climbing. Going higher and higher, and now she should. Yeah, yeah, come on, Katya, come on. Maybe the right hand should be slightly higher. Amazing job for Katya and no problem. Topping no out problem the actually. last boulder, no problem. Katya Debevets, Slovenians must be happy. Well done, Katya. So she right. finishes uh, the competition in a great style, topping out all the boulders. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's. It's not a surprise. We we all knew that she will be the favorite to to maybe win uh, based on her past experience in competitions and uh, and also great results uh, in, on the national IFC national circuit. So she delivers. Edward Kuzitis still fighting with the first bit of boulder number four. Yeah, I think he's having a hard time, to be honest. So he, like I mentioned before, he gave up uh, the third boulder after two minutes. He's back now, so it wasn't an injury. Uh, that I thought maybe something happened, but he decided to keep his energy for this last boulder. So he's, he's on it. Come on, Edwards, come on, come on, Edwards. I only now notice he's got um, tape on his fingers, left hand, index and middle finger. Oh, does he? I don't okay. know if I don't know if he had it but before. Maybe he felt some. Maybe, maybe he felt that some pain. was the reason why he jumped off number three. Yeah, because he didn't want to make it worse. Yeah. And this is a slab, and since this is a slab, he decided to give it it's a go. An, yeah, it's Could a be. slab. Yeah. But you have to hold on. I guess this is the thing. Like once you once yeah. you coordinate the first intro and you move onto the zone and you have to uh, control the white zone hold. Since it's a really bad hold and it's super steep feet, you really have to hold on. Yeah. So you need decent skin, you need, you know, some energy left still. So last 40 seconds of this smooth uh, Masters competition, second edition, Come on, Edwards. Yeah. After after Edwards finishes, there will be 
just a short break uh, for the judges to uh, give us the official results, uh, make sure that everything is okay with the results. And in, in that slot, I'll try to catch some of the people involved in this competition for quick interviews, ask them a few questions. Uh, hopefully I'll manage to, to have a word with the winners of this event and uh, also maybe one of the root setters, uh, maybe the owner, just for a few words, will stay with us. Uh, we will be uh, giving the prizes for the winners. We can already say we know that Katya Debevets is the winner of the second edition of Mood Masters 2024 managed to top out all the boulders. That's that's cl a clear winner. None of the other girls uh, came close to to fight for this trophy uh, as hard as she did. So she she's definitely won. We can see the results right now. Four tops in eight attempts, four zones in five attempts. Marketa Janosova, second place, two tops in three attempts, four zones in six attempts. Maya Oleksy finishes third. Among men, Nikolai Rusev, he wins the title among men with one top in five attempts and four zones in 16 attempts. Slava Krasnoperov, the slab gives him the second place. He jumps over Jotam Ben Royven, uh, having one more zone than Jotam. So Nikolai Rusev, Slava Krasnoperov, Jotam Ben Royven. This is the podium among men for 2024. Uh, okay. Dobra. Point of view, as one of the organizers, what was the the hardest challenge in organizing this comp? Yeah, so thanks. It's nice to see you here. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and thanks for for being part of the of the competition, Masters competition. So uh, about your question, the biggest challenge, I guess, for us uh, was the final round. Uh, I think it was the final round for the setters after after. Really easy qualification round for the guys, uh, I think. Uh, also the semi, so we wanted to push them a bit harder in the finals. I think maybe it went a bit too hard, but I uh, just went into the ISO and and asked them how was it, guys? How did you like it? Did you enjoy? And they were like, wow, amazing. So I think it, they really appreciate it. So I think it's, it's okay, all right? I was I was about to ask whether whether the results, the final results, are the surprise or did you expect those climbers to win? Well, yeah, so I didn't really expect Katia to be so strong, but she's so she's really amazing. She climbs so smooth and she's like really, really, but like both really strong and also she, she thinks too, so much. It's really impressive. Uh, about the guys, yeah, we, we knew that they are really high level in competition climbing and also strong in the, in the coordination moves. 
so we wanted to test them in, like in many ways. But the winner, Nikolai, I think yeah, he he was the strongest one tonight. So yeah. same, same. I think the same. He also the youngest. Uh, what about next year? Can we? expect this competition to come back next year in an even bigger and a greater event uh, yeah i hope so yeah thanks for this uh, i think i think yeah, we want to we want to do it again with the whole team i think so feel invited next year also yes please come next year it's gonna be even even better so thank you very much and i'll try now to catch one of the setters you can come with me maybe i'll try to get the setters to have a quick word I got uh, Kuba Jurek with me, one of the setters of the, this competition. We had a chance to comment uh, together the live stream. From the root setting point of view, are you happy with the, uh, what we've seen throughout the final? Yes. It's a very short answer. The finals proved to be quite hard, but eventually they, they uh, chose the best climbers, right? Yeah, they were very hard, uh, very hard finals, especially for the men. But to be honest, what we had was... Uh, yeah, like out, out of four problems, two got topped, one got nearly topped, and one was, yeah, not nearly, but you could tell that it was possible. So in the end of the day, I think we weren't that far off. I, I think the entire round was consist consistently overcooked. It was just a little bit too hard, but at the same time, I think the guys in the semi-finals are doing really, really well, and um, it kind of just intimidated us with their level and maybe that's why we went a little bit harder uh, what about the, the the previous rounds the semi-final and the qualies uh, would you change anything in the in those rounds no i think they were good yeah the semi-final was perfect i mean i really like semi-final and, and uh, i think for for the women we were in a slightly different position because we had one competitor whose whose level was yeah much higher than, than the rest of the ranking so that was kind of easier, and that's why we got four clean tops, and, and then... Good. So that was uh, Kuba Jurek, one of the setters. There's a, a lot of more setters there, but Kuba came to say a few words. Now I will try to uh, catch uh, the winners of uh, this event. So Bert... Katja Debevet, the, the winner of a mood bothering competition, Mood Masters 2024. Katja, congratulations. How do you feel? Thank you. I feel great. Uh, I had uh, fun climbing the boulders. 
I must admit that uh, at the beginning, at the observation, I found them quite tricky. Um, but uh, yeah, my goal was to like to top them all, and I'm happy I did. <laughs> so you stayed in the right mood. Uh, you overcame this this nervousness and uh, maintained this nice mindset throughout the competition. And we saw that uh, you managed to top out all the boulders. So this is amazing job. Congratulations. Uh, how do you find Poland? Is that your first time in Poland? Yeah, it's actually my first time here. Um, I, uh, one day I had a chance to go to the city center, to the old town, and it was really nice. Some sun also came out from the clouds, and yeah, I like it here. So are you staying for a bit in Poland? Are you going, going to do some sightseeing, or are you going straight back to Slovenia to train? Uh, actually, I'm going back straight back to Slovenia because we start with the training camp with the national team, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. <laughs> the schedule is uh, very packed uh, this season, so I'm sure that all the climbers uh, they need to get ready. So, again, congratulations! Thanks for coming. Are you coming next year? Uh, yeah, we will see. I won't say no. <laughs> this is great, Katia Debevet from Slovenia. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got the winner of the Mood Masters 2024 with me, Nikolai Rusev from Bulgaria. Nikolai, what's on your mind now? Uh, it's crazy how the, the things went up. Like the bowlers were, were very hard, but also really cool. Like uh, during the, the first bowler, it was nice, and uh, like the next bowlers, they were very hard. Like I, I did only one good try, and then the next one I couldn't repeat the same try because it's it's very powerful. But uh, like congrats to all the root setters and uh, all the team around here. Yeah. Uh, it's it's very amazing bowlers, and uh, also the people are nice in uh, here in Krakow and uh, amazing atmosphere. I did uh, ask this question uh, to Katia as well. Is that your first time in Poland or have yeah, you been yeah. to Poland before? First time in Poland, it's really nice. A bit right. cold, but uh, it's, it's nice too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the weather could be slightly better, but uh, what about the final? Did it uh, surprise you in any way or did you expect that the boulder is going to be so hard? Uh, in the end, like I, uh, from the start, I, I tried to do my best. It's like a training. It, it was a really good training about the next uh, competitions. So it, it was a nice uh, ending. Did you know that you were the youngest among the finalists? We did check that. And uh, all the other competitors were slightly older than yourself. So great effort. Oh, yeah. And uh, do you intend to come back maybe next year if the comp continues? Yeah, if the comp continues, I, I would be very happy to come back. It's it's really nice, like uh, the this thing with the lights, like changing to uh, disco party lights. It's it's insane. It's good. Nikolai Rusev from Bulgaria. Again, congratulations. You are the second uh, winner because last year there was Edward from Gruzity uh, from Latvia. Now it's yourself. So let's see what the next year brings. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
that was a quick moment. That was a quick moment for the uh, short, quick moment for the short interviews uh, with Piotr Sap, the the owner, uh, one of the root setters, Kuba Jurek, and also the winners of uh, today's event. And we are back uh, on the stream. We will have the prize giving ceremony in a moment. Katia Debevet from Slovenia and Nikolai Rusev from Bulgaria are the winners of the Mood Masters 2024. We have the logos of all the sponsors of today's event. Company Black Diamond, t Brewery, Czech Kumpli, Tricamp, On Lemon, Agrest, Hastan, Heartbeat Clothes, Mano, Varapo, also Rostains and Spinanie.pl, what, the biggest climbing portal in Poland. And we can see inside Piotr Bunch uh, commenting with Jakub Books, inviting the finalists for the prize giving ceremony, official results. The sixth place, Alex Totkova from Bulgaria, sixth place. Uh, Alex getting ready to come out. Just a few more moments. Oh, there we go. Alex is there. Barbara Wojcik, the fifth place. From Poland, from Kielce. Fourth place from Poland, Bianca Janecka. And now we're moving to top three of Mood Masters 2024. Maja Oleksy, third place from Tarnów. Bronze medal. Second place and the runner up, Marketa Janosova from Czech Republic. And the winner, the ultimate winner of markets, uh, Mood Market uh, Masters 2024, Katja Debevets from Slovenia. Impressive, most impressive. Yeah, and the prices uh, are... Uh, something. Uh, so she topped she, every boulder she tried she, in this competition. She topped, she, she topped every boulder that was prepared for, for her category. Yeah, throughout the entire competition, yeah. the complete list of boulders in the domination. Qualies, all the boulders in the semis and all the boulders in the finals. What a performance. Katja Debevets. And now we progress to the men's medalist ceremony. The final round turned out to be really hard. Not too many tops. Oh, three. <laughs> but yet, still enough to somehow choose the best yeah, three tops top to be precise, three. but yeah. Two different problems. Sixth place, Aidan Dune from UK. Yeah, maybe he'll take the chain off for the next comp. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Fifth place, 
Jakub Jodłowski from Poland, from Warsaw. Fourth place, defender of the last title, not happened this year, Edward Gruzitis from Latvia, fourth place. Third place, Jotam Ben Royven from Israel, third place. Yeah, he actually came up to us and said he really enjoyed the round. That's good. As in the setting, he, he liked the fact that it was hard. Okay. He said, we just have to get stronger. That's the good attitude when you think about it. You know, that's the correct attitude, instead of complaining. I mean, I guess they, they all felt they are possible and they were yeah. kind of close to sending. The runner-up, mm. second place, Slava Krasnopero of Poland. And the winner of Mood Masters 2024, Nikolai Rusev, Bulgaria. The youngest. The youngest of the old. finalists. Well done yeah. to Nikolai. Nikolai told me uh, it's his first time in Poland. Uh, he loved it. He's coming back next year if the, if the comp continues. So this is amazing. And you got all the best among men. Well done. Bravo. And from our side, uh, I can only say thank you, uh, guys. Myself, Grzegorz Karolak, uh, spent, we had spent with you the last two hours with Kuba Jurek, one of the setters. Thanks a ton. So Kuba, thank you uh, for, for helping to, to, to comment this stream. Uh, anything you want to add? Uh, no, I was happy to be a part of the setting team and I was ha happy to, to be able to give my little perspective on the setting. Same here, uh, thank you. Part of the comp. Amazing job. It was, it was a very hard round, but it's a hard discipline. It's a hard it, job. It, it's just a part of it. It's always going to be hard. Bouldering, uh, the Moon Masters become history. Take care, all Thanks the best. A lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks a ton. Bye. Ciao.